This is the glitchiest blitz that I've ever seen in Madden 22. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is completely focused in on helping people become the best Madden players they could possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the YouTube channel. Now guys, in this video, like I said, we're going to be going over a very glitchy little base pressure. It's kind of a passive pressure. It's not something that is super, um, it's not something that is like super, super um, like heavy blitz. It's more of like a, a bimba don't break, send three, send four kind of pressure that I really like to use out of the nickel triple formation. Now if you've, uh, I'm in the Chicago playbook. If you've not picked up my nickel triple defensive ebook, I would really encourage you to do that. And the reason why is because the nickel triple defense has probably the glitchiest blitzes in Madden 22. There's a gap pressure to be found all over this formation. And it really is going to give your opponent a ton of trouble um, when we want to send some pressure. So that being said, if you want to get my full nickel triple defensive ebook, there's a link in the description of this video. You can get the entire defense for just 15 bucks now in the video in the video we're gonna be talking today about nickel blitz 3 honestly you could probably do this out of any play in nickel triple but nickel blitz 3 to me works the best because of the stock bluff blitzing and things like that that happen in this formation or in this play now the setup is really simple we're gonna pinch our linebackers we're gonna QB contain and then what I like to do is we can put Murph excuse me we can put Murphy in any coverage we want. So I normally will man him up on the circle receiver uh, from this or drop him into a hard flat, okay? With my user, I'm gonna use her on Thompson. As you can see, we're only sitting four people. Now I'm gonna stand right here, okay? And I'm gonna hold left trigger. And at the snap of the ball, I'm just going to jab to the inside and then lurk into coverage. Jab to the inside, lurk into coverage. And as you see, this contain rush angle will oftentimes come completely free at the quarterback now we do get nano detected here but this this does come in relatively quick as you can see um this little contain rush slips in and then he's able to make his way to the quarterback and you see here i mean there's basically nothing open we've got great defense across the board and everything is pretty much covered now again the setup is super simple pinch your linebackers zone the slot corner in whatever zone you want to put him in and then with your user, I'm going to put him kind of like right in here. Left trigger and around. That time I was a little bit too wide and it got me picked up. Okay? So let me show it to you one more time. And there's uh, there is another thing that you can do with your user. If you want to kind of stand like right here, um, you can do that as well. And just come down and around, looping around. And as you can see, that's going to oftentimes create a disengage for JJ Watt on the left side. Now, like I said, this play stock comes with a really nice bluff blitz from the defensive end on the left, of the, the left side of the screen or the defensive linebacker on the left side of the screen. So he's going to bluff blitz down. And then as you see here, it's gonna that's what leaves this window open for Williams to be able to come in off that left side edge, looping in off the contain. Now, I want to show you what this play looks like if I don't use her with my guy in the gap. You'll see that it doesn't always come in consistently, as you can see right there. Sometimes we do get picked up if that is the case. So that's something that you have to be aware of. Now, another thing that I will say about this defense is that if we blitz our user, it's really subtle, but you're going to notice that he's going to sit right here. So if we blitz our user off this edge, we're still going to be able to have heavy coverage on that left side, double flat or whatever we want to do. But now, as you can see, we're able to create a really nice little interesting blitz angle uh, as a result of that as well that can oftentimes let J.J. Watt be able to come in free. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in this next clip. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to contain rush and then I'm going to blitz my user. If you look, my user's not going to go in the contain, so it's not going to mess up the contain rush. So I can just sit like this. And as you see, there's that contain rush coming in completely clean, and it's going to do a little hezzy, and then it's going to come in at the quarterback. Now, we are getting nano detected, but I will tell you that in game, I found this to be a little bit more consistent as far as not getting nano detected. Um, and I will say, too, it, it doesn't get nano detected as much if you use if you use that blitz trick 
that I'm using with my user. So if I blitz my user, um, it's less likely for him to get nano detected in my experience with this blitz. So we're able to do something like this right here. And then if you want to, we can drop that defensive end on the right side. So you see now, look at what we've got. We've got some really glitchy blitz angles. And as you see here, it's just a very passive pressure. It's nothing, it's nothing that you're gonna say, you know, we're just gonna scream at them. But I really like this blitz specifically for an example that I'm about to show you, which is when they QB, um, or not QB, but when they um, when they uh, put their tight end on a delay fade. What you're going to see is this contain rush will oftentimes open up different blitzing angles and allow us to get pressure whenever they delay fade their tight end. So I'll show you again what I'm talking about. We'll QB contain off this edge here, and then we'll just put this guy right here. And what you'll see is you see him kind of slip in and you see these disengages happen across the board so you got your nose tackle that has a chance and then you've got your your looping pressure that you can get pressure when they delay fade so i like doing this specifically to the delay fade because it really does help us significantly in terms of our pressure concepts and having something to go to if they're always delay fading their guy these loopers will really really do a good job so again just pinch your linebackers contain rush and then if you want to you can drop um let me give you another guy you can drop this defensive end in coverage if you want i mean you can drop whoever you want just drop one or two people off the line and oftentimes these looping angles will be very very effective so you could either drop the defensive lineman or like i said you could drop the slot corner uh if you want to put him in coverage maybe on the slot or whatever you can do that and i'll show this to you one more time again you're just going to stand kind of right in here hold left trigger and that time we got picked up but you know like i said this is a passive rush we're only sitting four people um and if you wanted to you can you can zone um you can zone this guy out as well so you can zone both of these guys out heavy coverage defense um and as you see here it's just a contained rush that's all it is uh but i really like this it's really good for quarterback rollouts to that side as well and um the other thing that i wanted to say just hit on real quick with this is I found occasionally uh, you'll get some a gap pressure from JJ Watt as well. So you'll get a mixture of both of these two types of pressures coming in, and it's just going to force them to have to block somebody uh, to be able to get anything going offensively. Um, again, where you stand does help, kind of does kind of help. See there, if we stand on the left, oftentimes we can get some gap pressure uh, from the right, some disengages. Um, you know, if you show blitz, I will say if you show blitz, I found this to be much less successful, uh, as you can see from the left edge pressure. Now, the right edge pressure, if you leave that slot corner blitzing, um, you know, it can come in. But if you show blitz, you'll see see how that linebacker moves to the outside now. Um, he still does come in every now and then, but I found that it makes the blitz a little bit less glitchy, a little bit less effective. So the best setup to me is to pinch your linebackers. Uh, and then zone out that slot and then you're just going to stand right here and at the line at the at the snap just hold left trigger and kind of move to the outside and just see if you can get that contain to slip in obviously in practice when i've ran this blitz a little bit and so it's kind of reacting overreacting a little bit to the contain rush but in game this is going to be a very very good defense for you in my opinion um, this is one of my favorite defenses uh, in Madden 22 right now the the triple is so tough there's so much you can do from a pressure perspective in nickel triple and you know when you can mix in this contain rush that you know will really get you some pretty good pressure most of the time uh you know it's it's gonna it's just gonna be very difficult for their for your opponent to be able to send five out you know he's not gonna be able to send five out he's gonna have to block and as you can see here we're getting a little bit caught up i think it's just because the uh, practice mode we've ran it a couple times but this is one of my favorite blitzes in the game it's really simple to run if you want to press out of this you can um, if you press a lot of times that slot corner if you leave him blitzing he'll come completely clean but but anyways guys that's the video thanks for watching if you want to get um, the full nickel triple defense like I said it's probably the glitchiest pressures that you've ever seen in Madden I think the a gap pressures are insane from this formation and so if you want to learn how to run all of those those are linked uh the, the the guide those are all in the guide the guide is linked in the description below you can get it for just 15 bucks and uh, again just go down to the description click that link it'll take you right to the website where you can get the ebook